want a house full of bitches Plus closet full of designer Money stacked up to the ceiling Moving forward, never coming back On a mission where life's at Souped up, strapped up, Marshawn Lynch It's time to make a play Play, play It's time to make a play Play, play You ain't talking money this side What's up, LM Universe? This your boy Anti back at you with another video. And look, I'm I got a lot to talk about here, but I don't want to make it too long, take up too much of y'all time. We're gonna have a little lengthy video. You know, I'm trying to make at least under 10 minutes. But look, to start off this video, everybody has been on Facebook, you know. First off, I'm sorry, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to. You ain't gotta subscribe, but give me two likes at least. You know what I'm saying? But people been on Facebook asking y'all, you know, to basically show your team. Show what they're wearing. And I thought it would be a cool thing for me to just show in this video as I talk about a couple of things. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give y'all a glimpse of what my team looks like here. But we're going to get into... I'm going to play stuff in the background which y'all can look at while I talk about other things. But we're going to get to the patch notes. They had over a thousand fixes. Some of it's fixed, some of it's not, you know. I love the game. I ain't had the same problems everybody else is having. You know what I'm saying? The people study complaining and everybody's telling them to stop playing the game. You don't have to play it, you know. But I learned today that a lot of people are really enjoying the game more than that are complaining. You know, so that's a good thing. And then I think I'm thinking a lot of people issues stem from their internet. But I'm going to get into a couple of glitches I had. This is the glitch with the... I had a glitch where I call it the flash effect. Where some hero, some enemies run up to you super fast out of nowhere. You know, and this happens. And I hate when this happens. You see how fast that adapt toy ran up to me? I, I just... Oh my god. It's like, you got to think fast. Think fast. But this is some Thor's protector. Did you catch that? Let me slow it down. Okay, you still like kids. You can't even store lightning fast. Okay, hold on. This is what happened. You see? Thor protected me. But other than that, you know, that's not a bad glitch. But I have an OP glitch I want to talk about. And, you know, it's a, I call it the multiplication glitch. I was playing with one of my friends and this happened. I wind up, e glitch. I'm in a low internet area in my house, like in the living room. I have low internet in my house, you know, so I have to be in a room on land, and I think that's where a lot of people issues stem from, is them having bad internet connection. Because when I'm in my room, I have nothing. I, I have no issues. But I know it's the internet because it kept, kick, it kept kicking me out of the party. You know what I'm saying? We in a PlayStation party, it kept kicking me out. So it wasn't the game. But it disconnected me from the game, and this happened. I wind up with two Thors, two Black Widows. I thought that was amazing. And they all fight. I'm going to let y'all see here. But while y'all watch this, I'm going to give y'all, you know, talk about other things. That was my first thing. I want to talk about maybe people's issues coming from their internet connection. You know, maybe their system. I don't know. It could be their internet connection because I don't have issues. But very few, you know, and it's not nothing game breaking. That make me want to quit the game. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about a new module form and what you guys should be doing. I'm going to give y'all the tips before I get into other things. Okay, the new module form. Go to the remain. You go to the day of remains. You going to go to the right of the screen to the first question mark on your right is going to be a elite enemy. You defeat him. Play it on heroic. I mean on um, brutal to get the most. I played it on, on all three modes and then I played on brutal last. It gives you two each other mode, so you can still play it on easy, normal, or hard and still get two. But Brutal gives you three for each thing I'm about to tell you to do. Okay, so first you fly to the right and you're going to see uh, 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 Elite Enemy. You defeat the elite, elite Enemy, it drops you three. You're going to get seven to nine modules with this run. Okay, each time it takes maybe three to five minutes. It, I, that counts loading in time. Okay, next you're going to fly to the right again. It's going to be like one of those helicopters copter pads and you're gonna go there as a box there you open that box and it, it may give you one sometime but most time it give you three it's playing wrong brutal 
and then you fly it to the left a little bit, and it's gonna be one of them areas that's like an aim facility, but it got like a door up top and a door at the bottom. You can't get in the door at the top unless you got somebody to hack. But door is the fastest to run this with, but you go to the door at the bottom, it's gonna be like one of those puzzles, and that door is gonna open up. When it open up, it's gonna give you three, and you get other resources along while you do this. Then the second thing I wanna talk about is the resetting the the um, dailies. What you wanna do is basically go, it's easy, close app after you do your dailies, go to date and time set it, do it manually, change it up one day. And then sometimes it don't, like you do it too much, they kinda fix it to where it might, one day might not give you none, but you go the next day and you should have some. Sometimes you might have three in one arm faction, and then you might have a four row in the other faction. Sometimes you might not have none. If I check the first faction that has none, I'm gonna close out anyway, go to the next day and redo it. But yeah, there's a way you can form like that. I'm on my second character. I advise you to take advantage of it while you can. And then another thing I wanna give y'all is, stop spending your materials early game. Whether you get 130, and then even within, whether you get the gear you want, and then level up the gear you want. It might take a little while longer to level up, but you can once you get higher gear, put it on. You put on your higher gear, and then after you um, get another piece of higher gear, you put it on. Don't level it up unless you level it up just to unlock the perks. But by the time you unlock the perks and you play and you find the next piece of gear, you're at a higher piece of gear. So that's a waste of time. I just want to tell y'all the best way to level up and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And grinding. People talking about they don't want the grind. It's bored. You ain't grinding if you call it bored. Because people complain about grinding. You haven't played MMO. Usually I play one of these and it's like a couple days in. I'm like, okay. I, I ain't going to say a couple days. I get about two weeks. And I'm like, it feels like work. This is fun to me. I enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? This don't feel like work to me. And then I want to talk about the Mega Hives. People saying they ain't getting the gear from the Mega Hives. Uh, uh, eh. The Mega Hives, the Mega Hives, you know, I learned you can play it. They say you can play it on easy and get the same gear. And they talk about they want to be multiplayer, but as far as it being multiplayer, I think it should be single player. It gives you a chance to, it gives you a reason to upgrade every hero in your roster. So you have that team and if one goes down, you can pick up the next one. But the thing is, once they die, you, you go to the next hero, but that hero, the hero before then, they can be on your team, but you can't play with them. And then after that, you still basically, if you lose all your heroes, you start back at the first floor, but you still got a chance to complete it and go back through it to learn. And the thing is, they got another end game mode. It's the Aim Secret Lab. That is for multiplayer. That is meant for four real life players. Because if you go in by yourself, they call it the, um, it's really the cloning lab. That's what it is. They showed clips on YouTube. A guy got into it on accident for a couple hours. A couple people was getting into it. If you go into it by yourself, you're going to go into it by yourself with one hero. And it's puzzles that take multiple heroes. So you need to find some people to play with online. And you got to be level 150 to go into it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Then we talking about gear stats. You know, legendaries, sometimes the epics are better. And you can go. You can mix and match. Epics only take three upgrade modules to upgrade to max level three each level which legendaries you know they kind of take a lot you know and they say they fix exotics with this um last patch but i don't know i haven't got exotic yet but i'm i'm gonna try to get one and see if it's better they say they made exotics the best in the game so it'll give you a reason to grind for them but at the same time if you get an epic and it's good the legendary might be a few stat points over it, you know, but is it worth it? All the upgrade materials. So they need to fix that. Lejeune did a good video on this, and I'm gonna link his video in the description, talking about what can be added. And usually I hear people saying stuff and I feel like they complain. But Lejeune, he made valid points and I agree with every point. And then, you know, they got content planned for at least, for at least to the next year. You know what I'm saying? They say it's gonna be for years to come, but they got content planned for at least the next year. They implement, I believe they got all everything planned out for the next year. And then after the next year, they're gonna, you know, take requests such as the PVP mode a lot of people been asking for. But who knows? The possibilities are endless with this game. People giving up on it, then they bad. I'm enjoying it. The possibilities are endless, so you know, Take it as what it is. If you haven't played a grinding game, you're gonna think it's too grindy.
So, you know, take it in what it is. But you know what I'm saying? Take this experience for what it is. Glitches, you know what I'm saying? They talk about glitches. It can't be like a story-based single-player game like Spider-Man or Arkham. It can't be. Because it's multiple people, multiple heroes that play different. They had to focus on one hero that in a map had to fit only this hero. So it's easier for them to make that game and have it come out. And then after you beat that game, then it's nothing. At least once you beat this game, you got more and more to do it. Then they're coming out with more stuff. Spider-Man came out with one set of DLC we knew they were coming out with, and that was it. I enjoyed Spider-Man. You know, but there was nothing to do after I beat everything. So what is there? Just had nothing to look forward to. But you know what I'm saying? They can make Spider-Man not as glitchy because it's focused on Spider-Man only. You know what I'm saying? They put a few certain types of heroes, like three sets of heroes, I mean villains in the game, and then the uh, bosses. So, you know, Arkham, it only focus on Batman. So, they don't have to focus on many characters and make maps fit many different characters, you know. But, tell me what y'all, um, I, I done made the video too long, I don't say it under 10 minutes, it's been over 10. Tell me what y'all think, leave y'all comments in, in the uh, comment section, and let me know, you know, What's your future? What you see for this guy? You having a good time? You not enjoying it? Let me know what y'all gear, what y'all hero sets look like. Let me know what y'all in. All black, mismatch, all white. Let me know. I want to know what you guys are into. But this has been your boy Anti, LMU Universe, LMU One, and we out. See y'all in the next video.